In today's video, I am massively excited about the thought of rebuilding the career of Antonio Conte. As we know, he has just recently been fired by Spurs and Leeds, winning no titles and not showing desire is unacceptable. That's what he says. If you guys don't know, please basically put in a clip right now. This is unacceptable. So obviously Conte was unhappy with how things have been going at Spurs. He's unhappy with the characteristic of the club and the players not necessarily showing enough desire. Now in today's rebuild, we're gonna start off Conte's career again, but there's a catch. Every single time we join a team, we have to win a trophy or it's unacceptable. That's what he says, so that's how it goes. Conte, are you ready? We are going back to Italy. First team we're going to is Palermo. And I am so excited about this because you guys have been asking for it for quite some time for me to do a Palermo series or a rebuild. And now here we are, Antonio Conte. I hope you're ready. You got to win the Serie B title. Yep, Serie B. We have to work our way back up in his career. After spending about half an hour just putting the team together, this is the first team Antonio Conte will try and take to the first place in Italy. We can do really well with a team like this. I mean, there are a couple of decent players in here for sure. And the budget in this team consists of 7 million. Conte does not look too happy with that, to be honest with you. This is unacceptable. The first signing for the pink wearing team and Antonio Conte is a defender. Coming in from Independiente, the Italian league is known for having loads of Argentinians in there. Legends in the past have come through as well. The likes of Crespo, for example, just to name one. But we have Ayrton Costa. A left back coming in to improve that left back position by plus six. And that, my friends, is obviously very valuable. We need that defense to be strong. 23 years old, left foot, a decent amount of pace, good physicality and defending. That's the type of player we want. And I think the house is falling apart. Old but gold is something that you have to follow at times. And I've now brought in two center backs. Robin Prepa is 28 years old. Not necessarily too old, actually. Coming in for 1 million plus a player, and he's not alone. Rocco has also joined our team from Elche, a 29-year-old centre-back that I was able to bring in for a decent amount of money. I am trying to get the best value for money at the moment, so I'm upgrading the team big time by bringing in some of the older players, and it leaves me with a bigger budget to play with, which is obviously important. I want to get promotion this season. Now, Gomez, you're talented, but... You are the lowest rated player in the team. Last one to be replaced. There he is, the last man to walk into the club this season. For now, it is a Greek god. Kurbelis walking through the doors. Dimitrios Kurbelis. I'm happy to welcome him because he will be a great upgrade. Gomez, you can grow on the bench. That's going to be something beneficial for you. But come on now. There we go. We're going down and finding him 73 rated, just like the two center backs I've brought in. And that should stabilize the center of our team. We have a great spine built up right now. And that guy, I think, might need to brush his teeth, but it's okay. Actually, I'm not done yet. I sold a bunch more players and brought my budget back up to 5 million. That man right there is Anthony Lozano, a former Cadiz striker. These nuts. <laughs> This man is coming in for the main striker that we had already, and he's 74 rated. 81 pace, 74 shooting, 74 physicality, 29 years old. Conte is building up a team of experienced players who will never put up performances that are unacceptable. May 2023 as the first season with Conte and the lads is done, and I am seeing some great things right here, guys. So, is it done? Have you won the league title, Conte? Yes! The tactics have worked. It was an acceptable season this time around. The players have shown exactly that what we needed, right? We needed that passion, right? We needed that desire to win and it has worked out and Conte should be a happy man because he is back in the Serie A now with Palermo and the team itself. Look at that. It's a decent looking team. Not much growth, of course, because the players are old, but hey, I am very happy with that. And in terms of the ratings here or the performances, Lozano, my man from Honduras, thank you so much for your service. Now, going into the Serie A, 
I'm hoping for a good budget because, yeah, this could get a bit of <laughs> this could become a bit of an issue right now. I'm not sure we can win the title there. On top of the money issue coming at us, we have players, the top player in the team, Verde, going back to their teams. And also Stulac, who is part of the starting 11, and also Tutino. Yeah, I think I'm ruined. The moment all of us have been dreading, the budget is 14 million. Guys, there's absolutely no way that I and Antonio Conte can turn this team into a title winning team in the Serie A. It's going to be impossible. So technically, I think it was a great journey at Palermo. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to waste the season. You and I know that things are not going to go well here. But I also at the same time believe that Conte performing this well for a Serie A side I think he deserves a job offer from a better team. So we're going to try our luck somewhere else to take on a job in which we will challenge for the title once more. Antonio Conte has now signed with the likes of... Shut up. Why is she screaming so much? With Marseille. Yep, we are going for that, guys, because Marseille hasn't won the Ligue 1 title in more than 10 years now, it could be the moment for Conte to shine and go ahead and put on an amazing performance in Ligue 1 and basically anger PSG. What is the team looking like that we're taking over? Okay, so we have Genduzi. I like that. We have Fratesi. I really like that. Cengiz Yunder. Klaus is solid. Obviously, Sanchez is old. Amavi is not necessarily ideal. Balerdi is a talent, but then again... Not good enough. Mbemba is decent. 28 years old. I like that. We have Vitinha, who is obviously a very, very talented striker. We could build him up for years to come. We also have Harit back at the club, it seems like. Anything else down here? I need something. Milik. Okay, 81. Chupomuting. Only a 76 at this stage. He's 34, though. Unahi is here. Suarez is here. Gea is here. And then we also have Fajer. Those are not ideal players. I need to go and sell a lot of players. But the budget at Marseille starts with 40 million. Let's try and take that to above 100 because otherwise we stand no chance against PSG, surely. I've just gone ahead and done a massive sale round. Klaus, Gaye, Suarez, Balerdi, Alexis Sanchez, Lirola, Kolasinac. All these guys have left and we now have around 100 and. 46 million to spend and Conte's still not happy but maybe the transfers will make him happy well Conte has brought in two new fullbacks Matty Cash being one of them for only 22 million his contract was running out and obviously I had to pounce on it oh he was at Liverpool then interesting he only got a one-year contract maybe they didn't believe in him but he's coming in now and taking over that right back position as an 80 rated player and replacing Klaus helps me to play a little bit more defensive. And then Pedraza comes in as the left back from Villarreal. This man has possibly the most well-rounded stats, as you guys can clearly see. But that is just a fraction of the budget that I'm willing to spend. We still have more than 100 million. Now, this transfer right here is for one of the best league uh, players. It's Terrier, who is incredible, or was incredible, before he picked up the long-term injury, sadly. A player that played at Rennes, and now playing at Olympique Marseille. It is a deal worth 22 million plus Amin Harit that we're going for here with Conte. And this is a player that could change everything. He can also play striker, but Milik is 81 rated and 29 years old. So we could probably get something good out of him. But right wing, Under, I like you. But then again, I'm going to get rid of you and Gigo as well. Those are the two transfers that I'm going to get done right now. I've just gotten two amazing players. Saint Maxima, a Frenchman, is returning into the league. Ah, uh, and the other guy that you just saw is the other signing. We are going to show you them right now. Saint Maxima, obviously an incredible player. A man with a smile on his face, not just on this picture, but whenever he's playing football. And that is something that people love. So he comes in now with the 83 rating. I'm going to put him onto that right wing position, changing his position in a bit. But the other one that you saw was Lucas Hernandez, and he was the most expensive signing out of all of them. I have absolutely no money left, but this could, yes, I'm saying it, could be a team that can challenge for the title. If PSG slip up, I want to be there trying to win it. Conte, get your tactics right. Let's get this going. I'm going to work on these right now. 
and get into the season. But would you look at that? We have gotten to the Europa League final. So even if we haven't won the league title over here, there's still a chance that Conte can remain at Olympique Marseille. That is a big achievement. We have beaten Atletico. We have beaten the likes of Freiburg and Napoli. Ooh, that is a successful season. Well, have we won the league title? Oh my God, that would be incredible. Have we secured the job over here? Is it done? Liga second. Oh, seven points behind PSG. That was clear. It was not going to be easy, but I'm so happy that we're in there. Coupe Nationale, where are we there? No, we're not part of the final. Yeah, we... Ooh, PSG beat us 6-1. <laughs> That's insane. But this is the team. Lads, look at that. Milik, 83. Fratesi, by the way, changed to a cam. He jumped by an insane amount. And he's up to an 85 now. Bede, two on the 80 still. Genduzi, 86. Hernandez, 86. And Bemba looking solid. Lopez going up by plus two. Cash plus one. Pedraza, has he grown? I don't even remember what his beginning stats were. But Terrier, 83 rated. Sa Maxima, sadly injured. Might have been out for a long time. And then Vitinha off the bench. This guy's only 24. He can easily take over Milik's position next season. I'm going to sell Milik and cash in on that one. But we could stay at Olympique Marseille. It all comes down to this moment right here. Actually, hold up. I need to take some X amount out of it. Oh, who do I play? Oh, that's what you get for selling so many players. I guess Dimitri Payet is back and he's going to play as a right wing. Oh, boy. Or maybe Vitinha? Yeah, I'm going to put Vitinha in there. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Please. Wait, it. What? The hell just happened? Five foreign penalties. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Marseille have lifted the Europa League title. Conte can stay for longer. Oh, and by the way, Fratesi was our best player this season. That is impressive. Milik. Good season, but 30 years old. Terrier, great stuff. Sam Maxima did well despite the injury and Genduzi as well. Pedraza is gone. A new left back is needed and his name is Felon Mendy. Another Frenchman returning to France. Real Madrid's fullback is someone that they apparently want to move on. They want to bring in someone else for left back. At least I heard about that. I'm not too sure, but he's coming in right here right now. 84 rated. That is great. And I don't like the fact that my... My fullbacks are not symmetrical here. Hold on. Mendy is a little bit lower. Yep. That looks better. By the way, I'm going to go for a new sentiment for insane amounts of money because I'm going to trust Vitinha to do well this season. He's already 82 rated and Milik is gone. How about a little bit of Sergei Milinkovic Savic? Now, at this point, he's 29 years old. Conte wants a warrior in that midfield and he is getting it. The tall Serbian is now going to be taken over for 70 million plus Vede 2. Obviously, a ton of money. And now our entire midfield is 86 rated. Guys, I'm telling you, this team can actually challenge PSG for the title now. Lads, we could be in a Champions League final. And we are. Okay, now that is incredible. The team that Conte has built over here is already insane. And I love it. We are going to be playing in a Champions League final. But honestly, I feel like there's more. I feel like, yes, Olympique Marseille is gr great. Don't get me wrong. But I think the peak of this video has to be Conte at one of the biggest clubs in world football. So, if I beat Real Madrid, we will let go of one Italian coach, Ancelotti, and I will join Real Madrid along with Conte. The team that has pulled this all off is looking great. The midfield is insane. The fact that two players coming in from the Italian league, Milinkovic, Savic and Fratesi, have done so well right here, showcases that Conte knows his Italian football. And then, going into the league standings, where are we? Are we up there for the double? Is it possible? Second. One point. Oh, mate, that is ridiculous. I saw that we had lost a game against PSG in the month of May, and that has cost us the league title. So here is that moment you and I have been waiting for. Real Madrid versus Olympique Marseille for the job at Real Madrid and also the Champions League title. Lads, I believe in you. Come on now. It is 
a 4-2 victory in extra time. Teddy and Vitinha doing it. Vitinha gets us two goals. And Milinkovic Savic gets us another one early on into the game. All those players at Real Madrid. Conte is going to be your new coach. Be prepared for it. But before we go across there, I want to take a look into this team one last time. Olympique Marseille, thank you so much for being an incredible club with possibly one of, one of the most in, insane fan groups and atmospheres in Europe. Definitely check out their games. I watched a lot of their games last season and I loved it. So now they have Terrier on 39 and 7. What a season. Vitinha 26 and 6. Hey, I could take him alongside with me across to Real Madrid. The same goes for Terrier. I am open for it. But then again, they have Vinicius Jr. Milinkovic Savic could be a great addition, but he's 30 years old. Tom Maxima. Yeah, could be. Fratesi, surely. I think I'm going to take Fratesi with me. This is the Real Madrid squad. We're looking at an insane Vinny Jr., an incredible Rodrigo, and an old Benzema, who is going to be replaced by Ben Yedder? No. Oh, Darwin Nunez. Oh, that is great. He is right here just waiting for his moment. The man with a beautiful smile. Tony Kroos, I will replace. Don't worry. Valverde looking incredible alongside Chuameni. I think I'm going to play the same formation with this team. Put Fratesi at Cam. But having said that, they have Brahim Diaz, who's 86 rated. Anything else down here? Anyone insane? No? Nothing? Okay. That's interesting to see nonetheless. We have Ceballos, who could be an option off the bench. But uh, yeah, that is all it is. In goal, we have Courtois, still 33 years old. Dalo is going to be turned into a left back. I think he's going to be fine with that because Trent is on the right. Laporte and Martinez in defense. I am very, very confident that Conte can turn this team into a team that can win all the titles, not just one. And there he is. Fratesi is the first player to join our team in the new season. I actually bought him right after I moved from Marseille to Real Madrid. And Conte is now welcoming his old player into the squad. Now, I do wonder what the budget is going to be for this season. Um, I want to see it right now. So we have 196 million to spend and we already have Fratesi. Oh, yeah, the game doesn't do it like that, does it? It actually brings him back in a day after when you simulate. So he'll be back in a bit. So we had a Medic Laporte in a team, a Manchester City centre-back. And I thought, you know what? I want the other one. Ruben Dich is coming into the team right here, right now. He is going to be stepping up as a right-footed centre-back, playing alongside the former Manchester United defender, Ruben Dijs alongside Lisandro Martinez. Now that is an upgrade, my friends. Obviously, at Real Madrid, you only want the best of the best. And he is one of those. And Dalot is going to turn into a left back. That Manchester United partnership is going to be good there. But that midfield looks insane. The attack looks incredible. I don't have to spend any more money. I'm fine. But I can spend more money. I probably will. The forever story continues. Mbappe and Real Madrid. Man, that was the thing of the summer, wasn't it? And then the man came out and extended his contract. I don't... I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, we are here now and we're signing Mbappe for the right wing position. I have sold so many players to make this possible. 300 million. It is taking me to bring Kylian Mbappe into the team, not as a striker because Davi Nunez is the man. He comes in as a right wing, my friends, and I am prepared to win it all. Well, guys, we have beaten PSG, our nemesis in France, and now beaten an Italian side with Conte. He, know how, he knows how to play them, obviously, being a former Inter coach. That win against AC Milan will probably mean a lot. And a win against Chelsea. Well, a former side of Conte. That is a beautiful story right here as we move towards a Champions League final against Manchester City. And I am fully prepared for that matchup right there because we obviously have one of the most insane lineups you could have right here with Mbappe reaching the 97. Changed into a right wing and he went up to a 96. And now, look at that. Look at this freaking team, man. I cannot wait to use it. And I'm sure you guys can't wait to see the incredible gameplay I put up. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, joking. Anyways, let's see how the league has the league has gone here. Real Madrid, 87 points, winning it all. Copa de España. It is belonging to Real Madrid as well. Now, performances, my friends. Let me see what we have been able to pull off here. Vinny Jr. outdoing Kylian Mbappe and showcasing him. I am still the king of Madrid. Fratesi, okay. Nunez, not that great, to be honest with you. And Valverde, quite nice, I've got to say. I am a bit disappointed by the numbers here. The moment has come, and funnily enough, Manchester City actually have Genduzi and Laporte in their team. Players that we had ourselves before. Antonio Conte, though, is going to require his team to definitely win this title right here, right now. City have an incredibly strong team, including, of course, Haaland. So, Mbappe versus Haaland, it's about to happen, but maybe... It's none of those two that has the biggest impact on the game, but someone else. Let's see. Great ball over the top. Alexander Arnold against Phil Foden. Nathan Ake getting involved. I'm getting the ball here. Fratesi. Darwin Nunez. Making that run. I see it. Darwin Nunez in between two defenders. And now to lob the keeper. He gets taken out, but he scores. I said it must not be Haaland or Mbappe. It can be someone else. And that someone else might just be Davi Nunez. Guys, I know Nunez hasn't been exceptional for Liverpool. He has been great, in my opinion. Of course, didn't start off too well and missed a lot of chances. But he is part of creating loads of them. I personally am a strong believer that Davi Nunez will score tons of goals next season. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think Davi Nunez has what it takes to be one of the top goal scorers in the Premier League and maybe even try, try and challenge Haaland? Having said that, Haaland's goal tally is insane. So that's going to be nearly impossible. Oh, that was some dribbling. Haaland against Ruben Dijk. Ruben Dish, thank you. Haaland tried to shoot through me. What a weirdo. And here's Mbappe. Lovely play. Look at that. This is football, my friends. This is what we do. Trent. Mbappe. They don't even know what the hell is going on. Honestly, because I don't even know. That's a good ball, but man, Ruben Dish is taking care of Haaland today. As a former teammate of his, that's obviously what you would expect. Oh, hold up. Whoppa! Yes! Get in! Oh, mate! A little mistake has been exploited. Real Madrid and Conte are currently absolutely on fire. And of course, man, Real Madrid in the Champions League, it's different vibes. This team has won it the most. And Davi Nunez just making Ederson fall for it. But easy with the skill move goal. These things don't happen every day. So when they do, let's enjoy them. Dangerous. Lisandro Martinez. Honestly, he feels incredible in game. I'll have to admit. Oh, sly tackle going astray. Haaland somehow managing to get through me there. Trent not capable of stopping it, of course. Mbappe not close enough. Ruben Dish gets the ball, but it's not enough again. Nathan Ake and City now try to get past Courtois for the first time in the 64th minute. Pep cannot be a happy man. He's about to get beaten by Conte. Passing. Good on you. Good on you, City. But it's not going to be enough. I'm sorry. We have too many players chasing you down at all times. There you go. Ruben Dish. He knows these, these movements. Look at that, man. I just did it once more. And then... Whoop. You're an idiot. Ah, oh, come on. Just do it right, Mbappe. That could have been so special. Just sprinting through. Trent is on him. And he actually forces him to make a move like that. 
I need that. Oh, Courtois, thank you once again. Ah, <laughs> yes, mate. Pep, you ain't getting nothing out of this. And that is us winning the Champions League trophy. Antonio Conte and Real Madrid have done it. An Italian for an Italian. Ancelotti leaves. Conte comes in. And of course, he wants titles. And now... He has the biggest one of them all for the second time. You know what I never understood, though? I just realized this is something that EA hasn't done. Why don't we have the coach celebrating with the team during these Champions League ceremonies? Why is that a thing? Anyways, Valverde, the original Real Madrid player, gets to lift the trophy. Mbappe has barely done anything in this game, and... I don't care. My team has done an incredible job. The unit worked perfectly. The defense was on point to stop Haaland multiple times. And Conte is a happy man. And with that, it's done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Take care and peace.